Okay, today we're going to make your own personal logo. So let's start from scratch. You're going to go to File New and make a brand new Photoshop file, and you can call it My Logo. Five inches by five inches, 300 resolution. All right, let's go ahead and do the background. So I'm going to make a blank page. We're going to go to our custom shape tool, which is at the bottom. This probably looks like the rectangle tool now. Go down to custom shape, and at the top, this shows you what shape you're going to choose. Yours probably doesn't look like this, so you're going to click on the arrow, do the gear, and just choose all. Okay, you can scroll through, but let's scroll all the way down until you get to this one that looks kind of like a flower with a, a hole in the middle. And then while you hold down shift, because shift will keep it symmetrical, like a circle, you're just going to drag it out. Oops. Wherever your picture, your head is going to be, that's kind of where you want the circle to be. So if your picture is over here, then you'll put it over here. If it's over here, down here, wherever you're going to put it. Um, and then while this is still selected, you can choose what color you want to do. So I'm just going to choose green. Ooh, that's too bright. I'm going to choose that green. All right. And now on this layer... We're going to go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. It'll ask you to rasterize. You can hit OK. All right, and now you want the lens flare to be fairly bright, and you want it to be right in the middle. That may be too bright, um, but I'm going to leave it for now. If you get yours too bright, obviously you can just alt Control z and start over. Okay, now you're going to pull the picture in of yourself. Let's see. So I'm just going to grab my picture, pull it over here. Okay, now you want to put a mask on there, and you can delete the background. So I'm going to delete the background just by selecting and then painting over it with a black paintbrush. Make sure you're on the layer mask when you do this. You may have to go in and just kind of clean it up without selecting also at some point. Okay, so after you've got that done, let's make a copy of this layer just so that we don't mess it up and I'm going to take the eyeball off of it, off of the bottom one. All right, we're going to go up to Filter and Filter Gallery. And then you're going to go to the Artistic Folder and choose Poster Edges. And then you're going to posterize yourself. You, know, you can play around with these. Okay. Then you're going to make another copy of yourself. 
and we're going to add an adjustment layer of threshold. You're going to click on this to make it a clipping mask. And then you're going to, what you want to do is see most of your features. Okay, and what you want to do is just decrease the opacity of this threshold layer. until you like it. So you don't want it all the way up because you don't want to be black and white, but you don't want it all the way down either. So you kind of play around with it until you get it the way you like it. All right, then one of the last things you do to yourself is um, change the color of different things. So I know that on the color wheel, the opposite of green is purple. So purple would look better on my shirt than the green. So I'm gonna add a blank layer. Find a good purple color. I'm going to select my shirt and anything else that I want to be purple. And then on this blank layer, I'm going to paint purple. And I'm going to decrease the opacity of that also. Okay, now at this point, I could go in, I could add another blank layer. I can go in and add, you know, if I wanted to, blonde to my hair. If I was an artist, I could do that. No, oh, I keeps doing that. Okay, I'm not a very good artist, but... I could do that, and then I could decrease the opacity of that also. All right, now what you want to do probably is use that contrasting color, which is the purple, and add your text. Don't forget that you can use this folder here to make things further apart, closer together. Play around with those. Whoops, just trying to make it bigger. And then remember on the text, if you double click, you can add um, layer styles. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe a drop shadow, maybe bevel and emboss. I might want to add a stroke that is the green color. Okay. And yours should look similar to this or better, hopefully, when you get done. Save this as my logo.